in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to explore how to use the spike in Microsoft Word. Most of us have really felt like we've mastered the copy and paste for a long time. And cut and paste is relatively straightforward as well. You cut the information out and paste it into a new location. However, there is another technique in Microsoft Word that very few people know about. It's called cutting to the spike. And what I want you to think of this as is, um, let's say that you were picking up pieces of paper and trying to keep track of them all, and you had a spike on your desk that you put the piece of paper onto, you know that old school thing, you spear the piece of paper on a spike. So here's what you do. You highlight something within your document. Let's say it's this sentence right here. And then you use the keyboard shortcut Control F3. And you can see there that using Control F3, the thing that I had highlighted actually leaves. It's, it's no longer there. Let's say that I go down here a little ways and I highlight a paragraph. So I'll just select this paragraph here. And again, use Control F3. It has cut that paragraph out so it's no longer there. Let's go ahead over here and highlight the sentence, Control F3, highlight another sentence, Control F3, and maybe these couple of sentences right here, Control F3. So what you've done here is gone through a Word document and uh, found certain elements that you would like to use somewhere else, uh, maybe somewhere else in this document, or maybe we make a new document. So here's a new blank document. What you want to do is go up to the Insert tab at the top of the screen, and you're going to find on the Quick Parts drop-down menu, under Auto Text, there's this thing called the Spike. See that right there? And it has all the things that we've been cutting along the way. Now you can use the keyboard shortcut for this. It's Control shift f3 and just like that it pastes the elements that you have highlighted and cut in all in a one go as a single entity and so cutting to the spike means that you can go through many documents and keep cutting these little elements out of those documents so that you can reuse them in another location or in another document altogether the keyboard shortcuts we were using there were Control F3, Control Shift F3.